The 14th ranked Oregon State football team is 10 days away from the opportunity to win 10 games for just the third time in program history. This comes as the Beavs look to chomp the Florida Gators <laughs> in Las Vegas. Yeah, the Beavs' best season in a decade has the postseason honors pouring in for the Orange and Black. One day after being named to the all Pac-12 first team, fifth-year senior Jack Coletto won the Paul Horning Award today as the most versatile player in college football. The 24-year-old from Camas first arrived in Corvallis as a quarterback who turned into a linebacker, special teams player, and a fullback. And he leaves OSU tied for 10th on the all-time touchdown list. Coletto sat down with Fox 12's Nick Krupke ahead of his final game with OSU. The success turned out the way I've always hoped and wanted it to, but how I got there was not what I expected. The 24-year-old from Camas arrived in the Mid-Valley after one season at junior college playing for the national title with Western Arizona. A fifth of your life has been here in Corvallis, man. When you look back on it, what, what has it meant to be a beef team? And it's forever. A fifth of my life has been here. Oh I think that's God. a quick math, but yeah. I didn't even think about that. Jeez. You're the engineer. It's been a long time. Yeah. I mean, shoot, it's... It was such a crazy process. I mean, you can only imagine. It's like quarterback, and that's okay. And then this wasn't working out, so then I had to find other ways to add value to the program. The inflation of Coletto has been through the roof in Beaver Nation. I just believed in what Coach Smith was saying. Those were the guys that offered me, and, you know, gave me the time of day, recruited yeah. me. So it's like, I'm not going to leave these guys and go somewhere else. Captain Jack carries out a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering and a minor in business administration. I get this from my mom. It's like I pick up concepts really quickly, and she's a very like, bright mind. And so, and then my dad's, you know, very like a straightforward person. So I guess those two together it's, it makes me like really good at math. Like I can pick up concepts quick. When Jack's path forward was blocked under center, the deep thinker hunkered down in a belief with the Beavers. The guys who are bought in and want to change the program, they don't leave. When you're a part of something that starts from nothing and you create something amazing out of it, being able to do that is really one of the best experiences to have. Because I truly believe like true greatness never comes without its adversity. And to be able to go through that process and understand what it's like as a player to be 1-11, in 11, dead last in the pack. And it's like our season would have been over a few weeks ago to now it's like we're playing in meaningful bowl games. We're always in meaningful games, being ranked the way we are. I mean, seeing that transition is truly remarkable. The Paul Horning Award winner as college football's most versatile player truly knows about the natural evolution of a football life. Okay, he played defense. Okay, and now it's like, now he's contributing on special teams, but it's like, oh, what if he were to do this? Or what if he were to expand his role to fullback? I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll do it. You know, whatever's going to get me on the field to play and contribute. Yeah, that's why you're jack of all <laughs> trades, Let's man. Let's do it. 22 touchdowns, 10th all time. I mean, can you even process what that even means to be there? You're going to be on the, on, on the list with some, so many great, we're sitting here in the tall, so many great players in the NFL and left the mark here in Corvallis that you're right there. It really is not like the result that it's like I'm most excited or proud of. It's really the process and everything that it took to get to that point is where you kind of reflect and you know, are like, oh crap. Well, this is from my website. The Embracing the natural like, nickname of the jackhammer, the entrepreneur in this era of name, image, and likeness launched the Jackhammer Collection, where 25% of the proceeds go to the Wounded Warriors Project. Well, I believe, really, there's nothing greater than people who voluntarily make the sacrifice to contribute to something greater in their lives. Proud to announce you as the Gatorade Player of the Year. So 2016, after you won state with the paper makers, you got the Washington Gatorade Player of the Year. We were there that night. On that day, if I said, hey, Jack, six years from now, you're going to be all Pac-12, first team, all-purpose. You would have said. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I sure hope so. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you're right. While no path to success is ever perfect, Jack's track to help bring the Beavers back was about buckling up and never settling down. What I believe in and, you know, really my brand image, I guess you could say, it's like blue collar tough. I believe a lot of those fans are like that. It's like wake up, get stuff done every day and, you know, for me to place myself in that, and not only that, but the people in the building, the building relationships and trust with the people around here. I mean, it's been an experience like no other. And the fact that, you know, there was a lot of struggles that came along with it honestly made it that much better because you have a lot of people here that you can trust and depend upon to make your goals happen. One more game, man. One more. Rocket Jack. Make it happen.